Hello students, welcome you all to the subject of compiler design. Uh, we are continuing with the topic on minimization of DFA. In my last lecture, I have already explained what is minimization of DFA. Anyway, we will just recall it. It is finding the minimum number of states. And as I told you, we will go for the minimal DFA by using the partitioning method. So today's lecture, we will see one more problem how to solve with this partitioning method so that you get familiarized with the minimization of DFA concept. You already know that there are six steps in this process. So first of all, to remove the unreachable states, and then we have to draw the transition table for the obtained DFA. Then we have to split the transition table as final state table and non-final state table. And then we have to find the familiar or uh, similar rows. And if there are any similar rows, we have to replace them by one particular row. And then we can combine both the tables to get the transition table for the minimized DFA. So we are familiar with the algorithm. Since we have already worked a problem, we will proceed with another example. So we are given one more DFA diagram here. And uh, here we have five states. And... Uh, can you check and tell me whether uh, there are unreachable states? We have to go through from the initial state. We have to find whether there is a path from Q0 to Q1, Q0 to Q2, Q0 to Q3, Q0 to Q4 and so on. Okay, keep it in mind. If you have found the answer, we will proceed with the algorithm and then you can tell me the answer. So here, as you can see, all states are reachable when we saw in the diagram. So no states need to be removed. We have to retain all the states and draw the transition table. So we have five states for which we have drawn the table as per the given diagram. Then we have to divide the transition table as non-final states and final state. So we are having only one row in the final state table because there is only one uh, final state here. In the previous problem, we had two final states. So we have the remaining all rows in the non-final state table. So just by seeing the diagram, we have written the table. Next, we have to find out for similar rows. And uh, as you had noticed clearly, row 1 and row 3 were similar. Since Q0 and uh, it was transiting to Q2 over the symbol A and B. So we are removing Q2. So we are skipping Q2 and wherever Q2 comes, we are replacing it with Q0. So in both the tables, now no longer Q2 is required. So we are removing Q2 and we are replacing it with Q0. Our next step will be to combine the both the tables. So we will just combine the tables and whatever table we obtained, this will be the transition table for our DFA. So we are just combining both the tables. So three rows from the first table and one row from the last, second table. So for this given table, we are drawing the diagram, which is going to be the minimized DFA. So uh, Q0 and Q2 have the same set of transitions. So that is why we have put together and we have removed it in the table. So one state is reduced. Initially, we had five states. So now there are only four states. So we have been able to minimize the DFA to four states from five states. And the same diagram, we can even draw it in a different manner rather than putting it as Q0, Q2. We can put it as A, B, C and D also. Just for simplification sake, we are naming the state as A, B, C, D. 
okay the concept is very simple so if the problem is asked in the exam you try to explain the algorithm clearly and then step by step it has to be shown so step 1 is to find out the unreachable states and then if it is there we have to remove it and in step 2 we have to redraw the dfa in case there have been unreachable states and we have removed them the dfa has to be redrawn and after redrawing we will write the transition table for this new dfa from the transition table we will split the table as non final states and final states two different tables and for every table we will find out whether there are similar rows similar row means from the source over input we are going to the same output so if that is the case we will remove the rows and then whatever two tables obtain we will combine them as a single table to obtain the transition table for the minimal dfa hope it's clear thank you